Welcome and thank you for watching this Vendida video. Here at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne, we are developing a new control framework that enables the large-scale integration of renewables into the electrical grid. The way in which people use the electrical grid is changing rapidly. More and more people place solar panels on their roofs, thereby generating electricity locally. Another trend is to invest in wind power. Compared to a conventional power plant, electricity from renewables like solar and wind is desirable for several reasons. For example, from a greenhouse gas emission point of view. However, there is no free lunch in that the power output characteristics of such renewables are very different from a conventional power plant, whose power production varies slowly with time. On the other hand, the power output of renewables can be highly intermittent. Obviously, a photovoltaic or PV plant doesn't produce power during nighttime and some form of energy storage might be necessary. But also during the day, the power output of a PV might be very volatile, which could cause problems in the grid, which we'll come back to. Also, with respect to electricity use, things are changing. Think, for example, of the advent of the electric car, which uses a significant amount of power when charging the batteries. The distribution grid, which might be 50 years old in various locations, was not really designed for supporting local and distributed generation of electricity. It might not have enough capacity everywhere to be compatible with a scenario in which every house has its own car charger. Installing a significant amount of renewable generation increases the uncertainty in system operation and could negatively impact power quality and power balance. There could be over or under voltages or line current limits might be violated. To prevent actual damage to cables or devices during such conditions, electricity grids are equipped with safety mechanisms. However, these mechanisms should be viewed as a last resort because when they are triggered, a blackout might occur. To mitigate some of the problems just mentioned, one could invest in grid reinforcements, for example by increasing the grid's capacity. Unfortunately, such reinforcements are typically very expensive. To maintain the power balance at all times, today's practice is to compensate the high volatility of renewables by using conventional fuel-based generators, which means that merely installing renewables might not lead to a reduction of greenhouse gas emissions. Fortunately, these problems can be avoided by smart, real-time control of power flows. And this is what the Comelec framework provides. Comelec is a framework for managing power flows in the distribution grid and works by explicitly controlling generators, loads and storage elements in real-time. New control set points are computed every 100 milliseconds. The framework is scalable as it applies to grids of any size and universal in the sense that it supports heterogeneous collections of resources. The framework takes the constraints of the grid as well as the uncertainties in power injections into account, hence voltage and line current violations are avoided by construction. The framework has several benefits. Comelec computes optimal control decisions, where the optimization criterion can be influenced by individual resources. It can accurately track a target power profile at the point of common coupling of the grid, which means that a Comelec controlled subgrid can operate as a virtual power plant and can be used instead of conventional fuel based generators to maintain power balance. The framework can be used to provide primary frequency support as well as secondary voltage support to the medium voltage grid. And Comelec is capable of running in islanded mode, in other words, when there is no connection to an upper level grid. In more technical terms, Comelec is an agent based framework for managing converter interfaced resources. We distinguish between grid agents, which are aware of the grid state and take control decisions, and resource agents, which provide the interface to the resources. Grid agents and resource agents interact via a communication network, for example the internet. Comelec is built on two principles. The first principle is resource independent control. Each resource in the grid is equipped with a resource agent. The resource agent performs two tasks, implementing set points on the converters and translating the internal state of the resource into a device independent message format before sending it to the grid agent. In this way, the grid agent remains generic. It does not have to be tailored 
to the specific collection of devices that is connected to it. Roughly speaking, the device independent message format is used to inform the grid agent about the preferences of a resource and uncertainties in its operation. In particular, such preferences are expressed by means of a cost function, which can also be viewed as a proxy to the internal state of the resource. For example, a battery with full state of charge can send a cost function that rewards the delivery of power. The second principle is composability, by which we mean that a grid agent can aggregate the collection of resources that it controls, including the relevant part of the grid, and make it appear as a single virtual resource. This virtual resource can be controlled by a higher level grid agent, just like any other resource. The composability property makes it possible to divide the overall control problem into smaller local control problems, which are easier to deal with. At EPFL, we have a working technology demonstrator, where Comelec is used to control a microgrid that includes several devices, such as a battery capable of delivering up to 30 kilowatts of power, load emulators that can consume 10 kilowatts, with which we emulate a heating system, and a PV plant on the roof of a building, which causes a volatile power injection into the microgrid of up to 20 kilowatts. We demonstrated how Comelec can turn a microgrid into a virtual power plant capable of dispatching power in real time. Thank you for watching. You can find more information on smartgrid.epfl.ch.